high directional people counter using ir sensors and arduino uno introduction in this project let us see how to make a simple bidirectional people counter using ir sensors and arduino uno this project helps learner to understand the working and application of ir sensor the ir sensor is simple yet powerful sensor with wide variety of applications it also helps the user to come up with logic and program arduino uno working of the project the project uses two ir sensors to detect when people are entering the room or exiting the room the two ir sensors are placed at the door rim or at entrance of any room the project says whether people are entering the room or exiting the room along with the exact count of the number of people in the room components required you can find the following components at quartzcomponents.com arduino uno with cable ir sensor modules breadboard jumper cables working of ir sensor ir sensor consists of two parts the ir transmitter and the ir receiver ir transmitter is also called as ir led and the ir receiver is also called as photodiode as the name indicates ir transmitter sends ir rays and when the rays hit any obstacle and reflect back that is captured by the receiver the resistance of the photodiode will vary according to the reception of reflected ir rays this will result in voltage drop this voltage variation is made used by the arduino uno in a nutshell if any object blocks the ir sensor the voltage across the data pin will be close to ground pin if there is no block in the ir sensor's path the voltage will be close to 5 volt this property is made use in the coding circuit connections for bidirectional people counter the circuit connections are as shown in the figure connect vcc pin of both ir sensors to 5 volt pin of arduino uno connect ground pin of both ir sensors to ground pin of arduino uno finally connect data pins of both ir sensors to arduino pins 7 and 8 respectively code explanation part this part initializes the arduino pins 7 and 8 the baud rate is set to 9600 and serial dot begin function is used to display the output in serial monitor and both the ir pins are declared as input in void loop this part of the code checks if the first ir sensor is blocked by the user if it is then the voltage across the data pin will be close to zero or digital low then the i value is incremented by 1 this is done to keep track if someone is trying to enter the room or exit the room in this part of the code it checks if the second ir sensor is blocked after the first one was blocked if that is the case then the count is incremented by 1 and it says that the person is entering the room and also prints the number of people in the room this part of the code reads the data from ir sensor 2 to check if it is blocked first this changes the i value to 2 which indicates that someone is exiting the room this part of the code checks if ir sensor 1 is blocked after ir sensor 2 being blocked if that's the case then it decrements the counter and displays that someone has exited the room along with the people count these two if statements are executed when the ir sensor is not blocked output of the project the project counts the number of people in the room along with making a note of how many people entered or exited the room conclusion this project enables the learner to have fun with ir sensor and understand its working develop logic to count the number of people entering exiting in a room learning to code arduino using arduino ide for a beginner is always a plus point it is a functional and fun project for more such projects visit quartzcomponents.com thank you